everyone welcome back to a new video today i want to pour the trinket tray mold and it's the m size from molds and shapes i really love these trinket tray molds because they are really from high quality they never change in shape and yeah i just love them and this is at the moment the smallest one they have and i'm starting mixing my resin you saw me putting some of the pigment drops into my resin and then I will also add a little bit of the interference champagne mica. I already filled some resin into my mold and the resin I'm using here is the ultracast resin. When you put your mica into your white, please make sure that you really stir it very well so that no little parts of the mica will be floating on top of your resin piece. With um, pigment powder, you always have the problem that if you are not mixing it very well, that it's just floating either on top of your artwork or it even drops and then it doesn't look nice. It also applies for the white. Please always stir it very well. So I'm just placing my white into my piping bag. I prepared it. The piping bags I just um, order on internet, just like Amazon. You can just have a look for those um, one time used piping bags and then you find them. I have to order some new ones because I almost run out. So I need to check again um, for piping bags myself. So, and here are the resin inks I'm using. I'm using the, now I need to think, it's the Amarant, I think. It's the Elderberry and it's the Grey Purple. And then these are from Etta Art, and then I'm using the Butterscotch from Octopus. And this pour actually is inspired by my friend Sandra Rettig. She made those pansies, and I really loved her trinket tray mold, or her trinket tray, not the mold. Of course, I love the mold, but um, I mean her result. And um, yeah, I thought I give it a go as well. I've not done pansies so far so i'm quite curious how i'm gonna um, do them i watched her video once and yeah i didn't really remember how did she pipe it so i needed to to look into my brain to remember what did she do how did she also drop those resin inks and i think i dropped them a little bit different i'm not sure but um, I will link Sandra's video in my description box so you can also have a look for her video because she is very good in this. And um, yeah, the pansies, I adore her pansies when she does them. So you see how I'm dropping here my resin inks and I need to correct myself because the more reddish tone is the sangria. So... Here are my resin inks dropped into my mold and now I can just start piping my pansies. Yeah, there was something in the resin. So just need to take it out. Sometimes you have those little fluff or a hair or something. And because I'm having a cat, I guess many people of you saw it already. Sometimes it's just you have a cat hair in your resin piece because the cat hair is just hanging over your clothes all over and you cannot do anything about it. So, and now I'm just starting piping and I'm following the pattern of the drops. I'm not sure if Sandra does it like this. So Sandra, have mercy when you watch me doing this. Um, yeah try my best <laughs> at the moment it looks a little bit funny but just watch me piping and you see what i'm doing
So, and this is my piping done. They look a little bit funny. I'm just taking the torch here and just, yeah, I guess I had some problems with my torch. So I'm just torching some of the bubbles which are on the surface. But here, always be careful that you are not burning your mold or your resin. And now I'm just emphasizing the flowers so that they could look like pansies. Pansies, pansies. How do you uh, how do you pronounce this anyway? Is this pansy or pansy? I'm sure some of your um, of your people will let me know because yeah, sometimes uh, when you do your voiceover, you you don't have time to to think about how uh, you know some things pronounced and anyway. So you see what I'm doing, how I'm emphasizing the petals. I'm not doing much, I'm just going, um, yeah, where I pipe the separate um, petals, flower petals, and then I give it a little swirl in the center here, just gently. And from the colors, I love the middle one a lot. It's very beautiful. So I'm very curious how these are going to turn out. And just a quick torch again. And then I just let the resin do its magic and hope that they are not changing too much. But because it's a medium viscosity resin and the Ultracast has a rather long working time, I don't expect them to stay in the same shape. But here I'm just taking you down for a close-up. This was around about 15 minutes after I poured them. And I'm very happy so far. At that state they um, still kept the shape. And yeah, I was hoping, 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 especially for the um, outer flowers. But you will see... They changed and I don't know what to expect because it looks like a little bit like a fish. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm just doing my background and I'm using here the Manila Green Resin Ink from Etta Art and I added some of the Fire Peach Chameleon Glitter. So, just a little bit because I also need to make sure that I'm not overfilling my mold because there's only maybe one and a half millimeters left for my back layer. And as you can guess, I want to make the crackle effect again. Here yeah, I'm just going a little bit um, spreading my resin. When you lift your piece, please always um, also be careful that you are not lifting it too hard, that your lower resin piece is loosening. Otherwise, when you pour, it can leak and then um, it drops underneath your mold or, or your original pour. And um, yeah, this would not be good. So now I added also some um, pearl mica, like I love to do when I do the crackle background. And I'm curious how this is going to look like together with the chameleon glitter. So this is something I have not tried so far. So I thought, why not going for this? And now I'm just helping the resin a little bit. You see also that I have some liquid um, at the long sides of the mold, but it's not so bad because my mold is really just filled to the rim. A little bit doming so I can wipe off the excess from the sides and I have no more leakage after that and then I just let the white or let the resin do what it needs to do for achieving the crackle effect so you see me in a second um, yeah there the torch again and then you see me wiping off the sides
So, and then we see each other for the demolding. And I'm so curious how these are, yeah, how these turned out. So, next day, it's 24 hours later, and you need them when you do the back layer. Otherwise, you just um, ruin your back layer, then you have your fingerprints on it. So, I'm very curious how this is gonna turn out. And for the back layer, I'm also taking the ultra cast resin, so I forgot to say this. But look at this. Right and left, it doesn't look like pansies at all, but in the center, I'm very happy about it. And right and left just look like other flowers, and I don't mind. I'm very happy with the tray. I'm very happy with the background. Look at that. And also with the glitter. Oh, and with the final result, I love and leave you and thank you for watching. Just watch the final result at the end. Take care. Bye bye.